Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, I'm Damia Aisha. I'm Daniel Haikal. I am Nurushu Haida. My name is Arif Farhan. We are from Sekolah Menengah Sains Tengku Muhammad Faris Petra. Plastic pollution has become one of the most pressing environmental issues since its commercial development in the 1950s. A single-use plastic has a lifespan of mere minutes to hours, yet they may persist in the environment for hundreds of years. Plastic pollution is the accumulation of plastic objects and particles such as plastic bottles, bags and microbeads in the Earth's environment that affects wildlife and humans. Therefore, we have created an alternative plastic known as starch-based plastic in order to save the environment. Nowadays, the sea is polluted by plastic waste which is thrown by irresponsible humans that are not thinking about the side effects of their doings. Some of the side effects that occurs is that aquatic life such as turtles mistake plastic waste for food, hence they may choke and die. In addition, the sea is also polluted and causes the colour of the once clear sea water to change with piles of plastic waste floating on the water surface. Not only the sea is polluted, but also the land, as humans throw waste everywhere and it causes environmental pollution. These actions also resulted in clogged drains that may be the cause of flash floods. In a nutshell, we, the future generations, need to take actions to overcome this for a brighter future. Our objective is to produce starch based plastic using two types of starch that are corn and tapioca starch. Next, we want to study the effect of utilizing ultrasonic on the transparency, mechanical properties and water solubility. Lastly, we want to investigate the effect between the ultrasonication time and the plastic elongation at break. The process to make this plastic starts with weighing 3 grams of starch. Second, we will mix the starch with 0.75 grams of cholesterol and also 100 ml of distilled water. The mixture will be heated until gelatinized. After that, the gelatinized starch will be cooled down. For this step, we will use the sonicator to sonicate the starch solution. Next, we will put 40 ml of the solution into a petri dish. It will be left to dry for 3 days at room temperature or 16 hours in the oven. Then, we will peel the film from the petri dish carefully. Lastly, you just seal the plastic and it is ready to be used. In order to make the most useful plastic, we had run a few tests towards them to detect the elongation at break and tensile strength of the plastic with different sonication time. Firstly, to test the plastic's elongation at break, the two types of such based plastic with different sonication time is tested using instrument machine. Based on the graph, we can see that the sonication time affects the elongation at break. It happens when the sonication time increases, the elongation at break of corn and tapioca such film decreases. It is due to the strong intermolecular hydrogen bond between the amylose in the starch. Plus, the elongation of corn starch film is higher than the tapioca film due to the different composition of amylose and amylopectin of starch. Next, 
the tensor strength is tested. It is proven that increasing the sonication time, the tensor strength of corn and tapioca starch films will also increase. It is due to the destruction of starch granules that release the amylose to form a more compact structure. However, tensor strength of corn starch film decreases when sonication time is more than 15 minutes. Hence, tensor strength of corn starch film is higher than the tapioca starch film due to different amylose content. The integration at break test proved that when the sonication time increases, the integration at break for both plastic decreases, thus produce a better plastic. For the tensile strength of corn and tapioca starch plastic can be increased if the sonication time increases. The plastic produced will be more transparent and glossy. Hence, make the sonication step is a rather important step as it affects our starch-based plastic. Starch-based plastic is made from organic materials such as corn starch and look just like ordinary plastic. It can break down in a matter of weeks and does so without releasing toxic chemicals. Hence, it is perfect to use. It also could be used to grow valuable food crops, deforestation, use of fresh water supplies, soil erosion, food security, and more. On the other hand, biodegradable plastic is a petroleum-based plastic that are combined with additives that makes them break down easily. It is a type of plastic that can be completely broken down by microbes only in a specific time frame and given specific condition. The most important thing is it will release toxic chemicals that will leave us big negative impact on our beloved Mother Earth. The market potential for our product is rather large as it is a product of many uses. Some of them are food industries, shopping centers and more. It is because our product is certainly eco-friendly, has low cost and also low toxicity. It can also become a step to reduce pollution worldwide. As a conclusion, Stash is a raw material that can be made into a sustainable plastic that is cheap, easy to produce and can be decomposed. Therefore, stash-based plastic that is sonicated can be the future most used product to make the earth a better place.